Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, we are gonna be talking about actually how you reward your dog. So there are so many things that we can do to reward our dogs and we sometimes get a little bit stuck to one of them. Like we get a little bit dependent on the food or we get a little bit dependent on the tennis ball. And it's one, th it's kind of a, a thing in its own right to actually teach your dog the value of enjoying both, of switching between experiences. And actually, <laughs> she agrees, it actually is really important that we have those opportunity yeah. for experiences. So what we've got is we've got some of our daily food allowance yes. in here. She says, yeah, it smells yeah. good. So we've got some of our daily food allowance in here. We also don't show her. It's in here. Go on, quick. Oh, pink fluffy thing. So you know what? She absolutely loves a toy. Yeah. And so she's got the option of a toy. I know we've just been playing, haven't we? She's got the option of a toy. She's got the option of food. Actually, what are we going to do? Because yeah. we want to make this reward an experience. Yeah. And the key is that it's a skill in its own right for your dog to be able to switch from activity to activity. And this is probably important if you want your dog to be able to switch, say, from playing with the dog over there to recalling to you or switching from from sniffing the ground there to instead giving you eye contact or maybe, um, I don't know, chasing the squirrel over there to switching to instead chasing you in a game, right? And so this skill is something that you might think, oh yeah, no, it'd be kind of useful for my dog to switch from toy and food. Actually, switching comes into every part of everyday life. Now, people always say, you guys, I mean you, you say, I'd like to see it with a dog that doesn't know it already. Mm -hmm. Well, here's one. We didn't here, make earlier. Here we have. We didn't make this one. This one's not done it before. So yeah. what are we going to do? So what we're going to do is we are first of all going to start with She's the. Heavy. <laughs> we're going to start with the hardest thing. Okay. So we're starting Portra. with the daily food allowance because naturally we've noticed that she would very much like to be toy 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 rather than food food food. And so we're going to use this daily food allowance and create an experience around it. Now because she loves toys so much, it's probably probably what's going to work best is if we get the food moving. We get a chasing it in our hand maybe or rolling it and then what we might do is we might sneak in the toy she's going from an activity that she likes less to an activity she likes more and then we might have a go at switching back yeah and the other option we could always do is we could always go toy to another toy so actually the cool thing is the world of reinforcement is actually quite yeah. limitless so you don't have to make it finite and cut and finished you can create it. Remember, Absolute Dog's community say there's a game for that and absolutely no relationship and dog is ever lost, whether they're right yeah. at the beginning of their journey or whether you're partway through and you're having a struggle. You can play this with any age of the dog. We, the only reason we're picking a puppy is because she doesn't already know. I know, you've been puffing and playing already. We're going to play again. Are we ready? So, I think we're ready. moving, playing, shifting, switching. I've picked you out. A little fishy. Ooh. Oh, I've oh. dropped one. I've dropped one. On I picked the floor. a fishy on the floor. I've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that and oh my goodness this looks good and remember this is all part of the reward experience mm -hmm. even the prep is part of the reward yeah. experience so i'm going to throw a few i am going to move a few are you ready missy three two one nice mm -hmm. yeah yes. good one and then we might super throw and then we might chase in our hand yeah. she's like oh my god Hug maybe yeah. food is like a toy and i think good. that's you know what makes something a toy well it's a, it's an object that you yeah. animate you can animate your food good. exactly the same good. and the more you animate your food the more you'll find your dog has value for it and also the more you'll find they'll be able to switch from experience to experience yeah. because actually she's already switched from chasing bits of food that are rolled yeah. to um chasing food in hand to maybe being fed a little bit of food to man to maybe just following us. They're switching from activity to activity all the time as long as we mix it up enough. Good. Now. Very good. <laughs> now, are we ready for the next experience to see if we can deliver? Yeah! Something different. Clever, clever, clever. Good. And what you'll often find Good. is that you have to work that little bit harder on the new experience when your dog is switching from a previous one. So you might have to add a little bit more energy to your play. You might have to, you know, figure out what is the thing that they love Good. most in their in their interactions Good. with a toy and do that. Maybe it's they like chasing it along the ground. Maybe they like having it in their mouth. 
<laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they like it to shake a little bit, right? Whatever it might always, be. It's always got to be the individual dog. So yeah. when I look at her, I think one of her favorite things is to chase. So what I'm going to look for is for her to let it go. As she loosens her grip, I'm going to try and she head shakes. I'm going to try to win it. And you can see that that's <laughs> like part of her little game. So she'll loosen in a minute. And as she loosens, I say, she will loosen. And um, she'll loosen. As she loosens, I'll whip it away if I get a chance. But she's not she's, giving she's... me a lot of a chance here. Um, but for me, it's looking at the individual, isn't it, yeah. Tom? And so if we can have the power of food, and if we can have the power of the toy, and if we can have the power of reinforcers, we mm -hmm. put ourselves in a much better place to have an amazing recall, to have an amazing emergency stop, to have an amazing relationship with our dog because we have actively harnessed what is reinforced for them. Yeah, good. Um, so it's giving ourselves that opportunity to yeah. grow reinforcement and a reinforcement rich life in our dogs. Absolutely. And so guys, if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure to do so. There's a new episode each and every week. Go forth, have a play with this, get your dog switching between reward experiences. It's a tool that you are going to find useful in your training and it teaches your dog a really important skill for life. Remember, Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25-day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content, and free training using the links in the description.